PTC Creo Parametric 3.0, Lesson 16, Part 2. In the next section here, we're going to cover some annotations. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a unattached note. Now, I'm going to get a little lazy here, and I'm going to copy mine from the, uh, the PDF. Maybe I shouldn't have showed you how to do that. <laughs> I wanted you to type it. Regardless, let's go into our Annotate tab, and we want to see what we've got selected here for our annotation plane. We want to be flat to the screen, and we want a unattached note. Look over here, and I'm just going to paste my note in there. Click once, and we've got these handles that you can move things around and you can change a lot of stuff. It's a good idea to always click on it, right mouse button, and see what you've got as options. Text style, note. So there's a lot of different things that you can look at with the right mouse button, depending on what it's hovering over. So for instance, text style, if we wanted this to be a little bit bigger, we can make it bigger and we can change the style and anything else that you want to do. Now, the one thing we want to add here is a link, and we want to add it for the American Spring Company. And again, I'm going to cheat. Not doing too good cheating here. I'm going to copy that one, paste it in here get rid of the extra that's not needed. And a screen tip. Short mine a little bit. Okay. Okay. And we can try opening up that. Yeah, it goes to the American Precision Spring Corporation. For ordering purposes. So this is our unattached note. You can put it anywhere on the screen that you want or anywhere on your model, your model view. Like so. Which brings us to the view itself. If we want to move the view around a little bit, get a nice look to it, go to the View tab, and let's manage our views. How about save view orientation? Let's just uh, reorient it. And I've got one called annotation here already. Uh, so basically, that's what you'd be using. I'm going to uh, cancel this because I might like that one. So since I've already created one, I'll go into that. So it's pretty close to the same thing. So there's the view that I can uh, do most of the work we're going to do at this point for the annotations. Um, <clears throat> the next item that we want to cover here is turning on some of our dimensions in that. So if we select all of our features in the annotate tab, right mouse button, show annotations, or we can come up to the ribbon and select show annotations, like so. And we'll just keep them all at this particular point. And I'm going to move this one up and let's go in and go to the properties and display. And let's add pitch diameter there. that one, like so. So we've got the dimension showing. You're going to have to move these around. Some of these you may not want. For instance, there's one here, 400, and that one is for the cut. So that one you could delete. You don't need that one. So you can do the same thing with ones that you don't want or don't need in this particular situation. Trying to get most of Here's another one. This one was not needed also. All right, so we've got our dimensions displayed. And let's go back into our annotation view so it's centered exactly like I want it. 
And let's add a geometric tolerance. And we're going to use parallel and surface. And we're going to pick this surface here. And it's going to be on the dimension, which is this dimension. And if we go into the references, let's use A as a reference here. You can also see some of the other options that are available. And so we have our, I'll move it out here just so we can see it better. We have our geometric talents that you put on there. And again, it's nice to have this annotation view. It'll go back to the position that you want it to every time. Now let's see what else we added. So we showed the annotations. And uh, you can also flip dimensions or flip the arrows um, and flip the and you can also change the plane that it's parallel to if you want to. If you want this one to come out this way, you can change the plane current orientation reference plane How about this one for a reference plane flip no. I don't particularly like that one let's go to this one so you can see you can go through here and find one that you find appropriate now that's interesting I didn't know you could do this I'm just rolling my middle mouse button nice to learn something every day could do that. All right, so I'll just leave it where it is. Cancel. Now the other thing we want to do is put on some symbols. Let's see if we got everything in here. Pitch diameter. You can again change that. That's not. Uh, it's just changing the orientation and the adding the word to it. We did this one, and we put on that. So. We should be over here with the surface. So we're going to click on surface finish at the very end here. And it wants a model reference, and I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm going to select that. And no, it didn't go in that one. Want it to be free. Cancel. Let's try again. Surface finish. Standard model reference. And for some reason, I'm only getting free as a uh, option. I'm not really sure. I'm going to take a look at that. So if I look at my annotation up here, I've got flat to screen. Because of that, it was only giving me a free position for my surface finish. So I had forgot that I selected that in the very beginning. So I'm going to go back and just select front and surface finish. And you can see now I've got choices here. And I will again zoom in, select here. And about on entity, you can see it previewing now. Like so. Middle mouse button, and then OK. And I've got my surface finish. And I'm going to want to do the exact same thing with the one on the bottom. It will be upside down, but don't worry about that. You can change your orientation if you want. And these are pretty much all the, the annotations I need for the project. And let me take a look and see if there was anything else we wanted to do. I think that was it. So take a look at some of the options that are available to you for moving the annotations to a different plane, reorienting them, flipping them, etc. This concludes lesson 16.